Tom, I'm walking around the show. This looks like a previous version of Apex, but you're telling me it's different. We'll get to that in a minute. Then you roll out the Apex Junior, which is totally different. Walk me through this thing. Uh, the Apex Junior I'm excited about because it's going to bring a whole new audience into uh, Neptune Systems, right? Um, you know, for years we've been a controller company, I think, as most people will refer to it. Uh, but whenever I'm talking about the reasons to buy these, it's all about the monitoring first. The control, I think, is something that you know you get used to in a, in a way, shape, or form, but can be countered as I don't need that. Uh, I think everyone would agree that you need to know certain parameters on your tank, and if it was a, an available and affordable package, there'd be no reason not to do that, right? Okay. So the uh, Apex Junior is going to be rolling out relatively soon, um, and it's at, at $299.95, and that will include temperature, pH monitoring out of the box, as well as uh, two FMM inputs on it. So we can get leak detection or level sensors or even an ATF. They'll be included right out of the box. So you'll have leak detection in the box. and an optical sensor right out of the box. So monitoring my temp, monitoring my pH, monitoring any leaking. Yep. But then I say, hey, this is really cool. Now I want to control something. Absolutely. And it would also monitor that you have electricity at least where the outlet that this is plugged into. So if the power was to go out in your house and maybe you don't have anything else that would notify you that you would know that the circuit that you've had this plugged into is also off, right? So your entire tank may be off as well. It's possible that it could be a Wi-Fi issue, but uh, in my situation, if this is off, uh, that means that my tank is off. So we're gonna get alerted to that mm -hmm. because we're monitoring that. Then we grow and we wanna control something. Right. We can plug right into this. Yeah, so this is fully expandable uh, to add an energy bar or a Trident or a dose, um, any of the other the accessories. Trident off this. Absolutely. This so. will run a Trident. Yeah, I mean, out of the box, you would have to get a power supply for the yeah. Trident yeah, and yeah. an Aquabus cable, but um, every other accessory, really, that we have would already include all the hardware in, in, you know, out of the box. Uh, so this is really a gateway product. It's going to be able to you know, bring more people in the door in an affordable package, nano tanks, freshwater tanks, whatever it might be. Um, so I think this is really going to broaden the horizons of the customer base. Okay, so we've got this, we've grown, or we look at this and we say, this is great, but I know I want more control. I want to be able to control out of the box. Right. Give me more. There's an A3 Apex for that. So the A3 Apex is our middle package. Uh, retails for $599.95. It does include the Energy Bar A32 in the kit. Uh, the same sensor array that you would have on this, and it also does add an Ethernet port. So the A3 uh, Junior is Wi-Fi only. Uh, the A3 Apex adds the energy bar out of the kit. It also adds a, a third FMM input, so you have one available to add another uh, sensor later without having to buy anything else. Um, and it also adds the Ethernet. So. And the brain for the A3 looks like this. It's very similar, yes. So uh, it's a little bit of a bigger package, of course, and um, so we, we have a good, you know, better, best option, and so the A3 Apex will be the better. And then we have a Pro, which is this thing with Correct. a nice orange designator. Yep, so the Pro adds a fourth FMM input. Um, it also adds the ORP and Salinity inputs. Uh, the ORP probe is included out of the box, and it also adds a fourth FMM input. So you go from two to three to four FMM inputs from the Junior all the way up to the Pro. Uh, that also comes with the new liquid level sensor, which we'll get to. Uh, so a 15 inch liquid level sensor out of the box. Okay. So no matter where you are in the spectrum of yep. newbie, you just want to monitor, but I can add control. Correct. Or you want mid-range control or pro control in monitoring, you've got all those options. Now. Exactly. And all of them really can be upgraded to the same capability down the road, right? So depending on where you want to start, how committed you are to it, what your needs might be, uh, there's no barrier in terms of future expandability. You may have to add other modules to get to the same end result but you can always complete that package the same way as anybody else. So the computer inside of running the Junior is just as capable in terms yes. of running the Trident, running a dose pump. Yeah, it's a great question, right? Because the old Junior, as, as many, many people may remember, had a module cap you know, of seven modules. Yeah. So uh, that may not seem like a lot, but nowadays it's very easy to get to seven. Sure. If you added a wave starter kit, for example, that would actually count as three because you have the one link plus the individual waves. Uh, so you can have the same module count and all the, the same horsepower, if you will, on all three models. Okay, but you said there's new liquid level sensors. Correct. I know there's a new water on floor sensor as well. Correct, yep. That's over behind your shoulder. Take me over there and show me that. Sounds good. All right. So, yeah. Oh, no, let's just jump in. <laughs> what is this? 
So this is our new liquid level sensor. It'll be available in four sizes from four inches all the way up to 35. 35? Yeah, 35, 35 inches. inches long. Yep, so big enough for an RO vat, uh, garbage cans, stuff like that. So this will be included in the A3 uh, Apex Pro system. It'll also be available independently for purchase relatively soon. Uh, and this can be used on both A2 and A3 series Apexes uh, in any FMM input. So very easy to install. It took me about three minutes, honestly, to just clip it on. It has a nice little clip. Okay. Pick a baffle or whatever kind of thing you want to hang it on, plug it in, run the task, and it, very simply it will tell you exactly how much water is in that tank. Not just high or low. Exactly. Where it is. Gradient level, right? Uh, we have a nice new animated tile that's on the dashboard and all that. Um, so this really is great for being able to paint a picture of where the water really is, exactly what's happening. So for example, if I turn my skimmer off, I know exactly how much now my sump will catch. And when I you know, turn it back on, uh, if your socks are getting dirty, if you want to check in your fleece roller, um, I'm actually now using it. I'm doing automatic water change because I've been away from the home a lot. And I have one of these in both garbage cans, so I'm able to see exactly how much I have left. And it also confirms that everything with the automatic water change is happening the way that I want it to. Uh, and that there's no imbalance because maybe a tube got clogged or something like that. So there's a million different purposes for this. You can use it in, a, in, in additives. Just be mindful it is acrylic, so you wouldn't want to put it in like no box or something alcohol based. Um, but yeah, multi purpose and very simple and, and quite affordable. Even the 35 inch is going to be uh, retailing in a very affordable way. Does this replace optical sensors for an ATO? No, there are some uh, reasons that you want a smaller thing, right? So the magnetic optical sensor, which is uh, something new from us as well, is going to give you instant gratification, right? So for example, in my skimmer cup, when the skimmer starts to overflow, which can happen rapidly sometimes, uh, you want that to turn off immediately, right? right. So it's going to tell you, I'm definitely here, without a doubt, and it's going to turn it off right away. This has a, slow, a slight reaction time. It's not a long period of time. Uh, but it's going to be better for painting a picture of, you know, water height versus instant on, instant off. Okay, got it. So there's a new optical sensor though, and there's a new water and floor sensor. Yes. What's the difference with the new optical? What's new with the new water and floor? So both are actually optical. Uh, the leak sensor um, is an improvement on the technology that we're already running. So uh, the previous LD2 and LD1 uh, work on connectivity. So they can give you a false alarm because they're on something that, like a tile floor and there's a lot of condensation. Can it go on concrete without any? Absolutely. So okay. it's uh, slightly elevated. It has a little bit of an arch to it too. So it really has to be in the water for it to tell you that it's wet. And there's a new optical, which I'm told has a stronger magnet to it for guys with me with Definitely. more thicker sun yep. material. So it doesn't fall off when I touch it. I think it looks a lot cooler. It has Neptune orange and gray now. It's a slightly smaller footprint and I think the magnet sticks a lot better. Uh, so just, you know, a little bit of a step in the right direction on that. And all these are usable with um, the A1 all the way through the A3. Uh, only the LLS cannot be used on the Classic Series. So, you know, we're just very mindful of including all of our old customer, you know, the customer's old hardware and uh, all the, the steps forward that we're taking. So the new water on floor sensor, the new optical can be used on the old black box A1 Correct. series. Yep. And then after that, any Apex will support this new liquid level sensor. That's correct, absolutely. All right, so we're taking care of across the board. I gotta get my hands on this and fiddle with it because I've been waiting for one of these for my tall RO vat. Now I actually know how much water's in there. Yeah. Thanks. No problem.